Hi guys, Roxana from the blog acquaintlife.com and today I have for you my natural skincare routine. What I do is I do something called oil washing to wash my face. I do not use a cleanser and it's just like it sounds. If you've never heard of it, you use a organic coconut oil or an organic high quality olive oil. Um, and I'm sure there's other oils that you could wash with, but those are the two that I like to use. Um, today I'm gonna be using a coconut oil because that's what I'm using currently. And you just basically take it, you wipe it on your face and wash your face just like you would with a cleanser. The only difference is, is you can actually wipe on your eyes and around your eye area and get that mascara off and it's excellent for removing makeup. There's all sorts of uh, wonderful benefits to oil washing. It's um, very calming to sensitive skin. It protects the lipid layer on your skin as well and the good bacteria that's on our skin. So there's, there's just all, a ton of information out there, but those are just a, a few of them um, to give you an idea. And to get it off, you don't do a normal wash in the water you know, type of rinsing. You do a towel, a warm towel. I, I put it under actually hot water and I wring it out and I just wipe it right off. And it feels so soothing and so amazing to wash your face and it feels very, very soft. I've noticed a lot of, um, just benefits in my own skin. It seems more supple, it seems just more even, and um, it's, it's just great. And I do it in the morning and I do it also in the evening as well to get makeup off. My number two uh, skincare routine is once a week, I do a deep facial. And for those of you that love at home beauty, this is for you. So what you do is you combine equal parts of olive oil, so about a teaspoon of olive oil, and about a teaspoon of you can use brown sugar, salt, or regular sugar, and you mix it together just in a little dish, and you wash with that after you've washed with your oil wash. So you do an oil washing first, okay? Get all that makeup off your skin. And this is an exfoliator, so it's more of a deep cleanse. We're gonna get the dead skin off, and it just, you scrub it and you don't wanna do, it's very abrasive, so you don't wanna do it too hard, just as much as you would do it when you wash your face, just delicately. And when you wash your face, just as a tip, you wanna do not just your face, but you also wanna do your neck and your decolletage area as well, um, just to you know make sure everything's evenly taken care of. Um, once you're done, do the same thing, take a cloth, hot water, wring it out and wipe it off, and it feels so good. Um, as an added step to help the pores to close and to keep it nice and soft and just give you that really wonderful feeling that comes from getting a facial is I take a bowl of hot water and I put it on the table and I put my face over it and a towel draped over my head. And what that does is it just really um, helps the pores close and gently um, steams the skin. And I set a five minute timer doing that once a week um, after my deep cleanse with the salt or the sugar or whatever you're gonna use. And it just, it's an added thing. And I have noticed that my skin is a lot more um, evenly toned. It uh, has more of a glow to it. And these are all natural products that you could find around your house and they work amazing. You don't have to worry about toxins on your skin, chemicals that you can't pronounce on your skin, or worrying about, is it gonna be irritating to your skin or cause a breakout? Because these are very mild um, ingredients to use on your skin. So I hope that this helps. And if it does, I would love to hear from you. I would love to hear what you think, what your results are using these techniques. Um, if for more videos like this, please hit that subscribe button. Every single week I make two new videos of from scratch cooking, natural home remedies, and garden growing. Thanks again for watching and until next time.